Five in the morning. It's about 5.20 and we are heading out to Ayalik Glacier. Ayalik? Ayalik. In the uh, Seward area. So early morning. Just getting my goodies ready. All packed up, ready to roll. Got our uh, lots of dry bags, lots of gear, and should be an exciting little adventure. How the moon will cry, sleep the sun away. I was just a child, I knew I was afraid. There was nothing to gain, I found the running the other way. I had to stand my ground. All right, we're all dropped off. Shuttle picked us up at 5.30, 6 a.m. this morning and took us out to this. Beautiful spot. This is gonna be home sweet home for the next three days. <laughs> Would not take no more. Calm as a lake with lots of jellyfish. Stars that faded from my eyes, run from looks that kill. There was no one coming around to save me from the fray. I had to stand my ground and keep the wolves at bay. Well, I knew somehow. There would come a day When I stood my ground Kept the wolves at bay Well I knew somehow There would come a day Okay, so all the day boats are gone and we are at the face of the glacier. This is Ayalik Glacier here just outside Seward and we're gonna set up camp just here and have really stunning views of glacial calving kind of all evening. This has been a really active glacier meaning it's calving a lot. Some things that we have to keep an eye out for are the tide. The tide's coming up. Um, won't get quite this high, but we can get waves that are coming off. So if a big piece of ice falls off the glacier, it can kick up a tidal wave and kind of wash up on the shore. So that's something to be cognizant about. We also want to be aware of the wind direction because of where we're camping versus where we're cooking and where we store our gear because there are bears here. We've actually found some bear scat on the beach. So you definitely don't want to be downwind of where you're cooking and where you're storing your food. So we'll be um, kind of picking out some spots. But other than that, it looks like a really beautiful place to set up a camp. Yeah, super excited about this spot. If you quench these dusty lips Cause I just want to be with you when the day is done when the darkness comes, when the old sweet day is done, I just want to be with you in the setting sun, till the morning comes, when the day is done. Oh, oh. Mm. Okay, on a mission to get some more water. Need to fill up the jug. So we're going to walk to the stream, see what we can find. It's been pretty silty because it's all glacial melt water, but we usually try to find a spot with maybe more snow melt than glacial melt. And we're coming up to our first obstacle here. This is a little river crossing. 
How are we gonna cross this thing? The idea is that if we can get over to those fresher streams, this is all glacial melt. So you can see it's pretty silty. The water's kind of a, it's kind of a milky color. So it's not that you can't drink it, but it would clog your filters and it's got all kinds of sediment in it. Take a look there. Kind of looks like chocolate milk. Well, couldn't make it across the river. So this is the best we're gonna get right here. Oh well, a little bit silty, not a big deal. Let's try this. Let me drown, cause it's a long, long way to go, my friend, and all of my pain. Try to weigh me down in the end. end. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. End. End. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. So please carry me when I'm weary, and I will tend to you when you are tired. Because you're bound to me, and I am bound to you. Breezy. Got the bear spray. So it looks like this is the high tide mark just a couple hours ago. You can see all the ice came up here. And then as the tide started to drop, Seeds back, and I'm thinking that a lot of these icebergs above the tide mark actually washed onto shore from big waves once you get a calving event. So sometimes the glacier will calve and you'll get a wave that's about 20 feet high rolling with all this ice and capturing it, and it's pretty incredible. the tidal wave from that big calving. and much different evening. Look around. We have the Alaskan fog and the clouds, but that glacier is still hanging. Lots of big calving today. Very, very cool. Hopefully we can stay warm tonight and it won't actually rain. We'll see. Okay, well, we're stuck in the tent. It's windy and rainy and we're supposed to kayak and get picked up today. So, just sent an in-reach in message on our location and our plan. But, looks like today we're gonna be spending most of it in the tent here. It's holding up really good. And we have extra food, luckily. The 
real rainy. What's for breakfast, darling? Oatmeal. Oh, yeah. Huddled up in our little tent. This is our day today. Lots of rain. Rain on top of rain. On top of rain. And then a little more rain. And the wind. It's getting pretty intense. They're all jellyfish. Alright, we're jamming. Rainy day. And we're making lunch. <laughs> guys so we're packing up the kayak and hopefully we're getting retrieved today was our pickup day we weren't sure if they were going to be able to make it because of the weather but um sounds like the guy's on his way so we just packed up camp Reminiscing this morning 
stuck on this crazy beach and high winds with rain. Yikes. But we made it back to the to the van. It's so warm and nice and dry. <laughs> we had a really exciting boat ride with kind of 15 foot waves. That was this guy. Alaska is just crazy. It goes from beautiful sunny weather, clear day glass water that we were paddling in to this in a matter of 12 hours. It was just crazy and relentless and it's gonna do this for three days. If they wouldn't have picked us up, we would have had to ration our food for at least three more days before they would have been able to pick us up. All right guys, Max and I made it back to Anchorage and we're laying out all of our stuff to dry. How's it going, Max? Everything is just wet to the core, like still dripping, just completely saturated. It's just insane how wet everything can get. Always just mind boggling how much gear it takes when you lay it all out. And somehow we fit it all into like four or five dry bags. Alaska showed us who was boss. 